Hi guys, Carrie with Secondhand Salvage. Some of you have reached out to me asking me about how I did my watercolor technique on these beautiful canvases here. So I just wanted to take a real quick minute here and show you how I do it and hopefully it'll help you guys. So I've taken a piece of black canvas that I had another design on that I didn't like. I made a mistake. So I just ripped it out of the frame so I could still salvage the frame. And then I kept the canvas. So we're just going to do it on the back side of that. I took my um, regular design that I wanted to use from Chalk Couture, put it on my surface. Now this one here is a smaller one. I'm going to put a cute little frame and finish it up. So I'll make sure you guys see a picture of that as well. The two colors I'm gonna be working with real quick, guys, guava and sage. And I like to just spray my water right inside my jar. A little extra moisture in your paste won't hurt you anyways. The uh, brush I like to use is an angled brush, as you can see there. Hopefully that makes it a little easier for you to see. Now, what I do, and there's different ways to do it, so you guys do what's best for you. Um, I like frayed edges, so um, people ask me about that. Guys, literally, if you just rip your canvas, it'll fray on the ends and give you that really cool frayed look. So all I'm gonna do is take my brush and I'm gonna load up just a little bit of watered down chalk paste on the tip of my brush. I don't want it to be too watery. I don't want it to be too much. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in and just make lines inside of my other lines, right? So I'm not going all the way up to the edge, but I'm just working on the inside there, okay? Then what I can do is dry off my brush a little bit, and now I'm just gonna pull that watered down chalk paste into the center and fan it in as if I was painting a traditional watercolor, okay? That way you don't have to do a two-step process. I know some people will do the frame, re-watercolor and do a frame over that. I'm all about working smarter, not harder. Uh, I don't wanna do the extra step if I don't have to. So we're gonna load up a little more. We're gonna go to another section just make a little line on the inside and we're going to follow that around everywhere we have it on our flower and guys i'm all about the the bob ross method happy little accidents guys so perfectly imperfect that's what makes it unique and one of a kind and allows each piece that you create to be unique to your customer so i'm just going through I'm gonna brush in some of that color. Now, if you get to a dry area, feel free to load up a little bit of water on your brush, which will reactivate that paste that you have there and allow you to spread it a little more, okay? And then I just work my way around. Um, and then once I get to a part where I wanna have like a dusting, I get it to like a dry brush and then you just stamp it with a dry brush, which is gonna give you like a powdered finish. So that's gonna let you kind of get that warmed up powder finish, okay? Do one little last section here. Okay. Look how pretty that is, right? Easy peasy. Then I'm just going to take my water bottle, spray it right inside my hand with my brush, and I'm gonna use my hand to clean out that brush. Then I can hop right over to our sage, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna load up a little bit of that on my brush, and then I'm gonna come down and I'm just gonna put it on the edges of my petals. And what that allows me to do is I can pull that color towards the inside, but it's not giving a ton of color to the area. It's just kind of leaving a little bit of a ghosting. And I think that that just gives just a nice pop of color. And I just like to work my way around um, and, and do the edges. So my watercolors, I don't really fill in all the way because I, I just want that little bit of shading. So you can see how I did my greens, right? Now I've got two flowers there that I didn't do, so all I'm gonna do is hop back over, woo, through my water, hop back over there, clean my brush out again in my hand, and we're gonna go right back into the coral. 
This way you don't have to worry about, not coral, guava, I'm sorry. You don't have to worry about mixing the colors in your jar. Um, and I know that we've got the new amazing creamy dreamy paste coming out. So don't worry about all that paste that you have at home. Um, this is this works great with, you know, paste that might be uh, a little rougher of a texture or a little dried out. This works great for that. So just bring in that pretty color into the center. Now, I always like to have my darker shades on the outside working into light. Um, you know, old eighth grade uh, art class with shadowing. Okay, it sounds a little silly, but I'm going to kind of explain it to you. Um, when I do my sunflowers, a lot of people notice that there's um, a certain way that you need to shadow so it makes sense. So I'm going to use, see how pretty that is. Okay, so here's a rule of thumb when you're talking about shadowing. So if my light source is coming over from here, say this is my sun at the corner of my painting, all my shadows need to be on this side. So think about it in a triangle coming out. So when I'm doing shadowing, I want it darker on this side than from the light source. And if you put a piece of tape, a jar paste or whatever, it helps you anchor the point of where your lights and dark should be. And that's where it gets fun, where you can do two different tones and different shades. So we're done with that one. I am just going to grab a little bit more sage for this one little petal over here that I neglected this last time. Okay, guys, I think we are done. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to put that in a cute little vintage frame. What do you all think? All right, guys, I hope this helped. I hope you guys all have a great day. And you know how we finish it here at Secondhand Salvage. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Leave the world a better place than you found it. Take care, guys.